Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Haku Kyoto Wins Yamazaki's Route. Let's go. It was my private opinion that they were unlikely to agree, no matter what time they discussed the subject, but I felt it was polite to keep quiet. Very well. There seemed to be very little common ground between them, but both arguments had merit. Kondo had likely seen this as well, and he chose to end things before it got unpleasant. If you insist, Kondo. Oh, I felt like I got a hiccup. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sanon's face betrayed nothing of what he might be thinking, even when the corner of his mouth quirked up into the beginning of a smile. He bowed quietly and left as swiftly as he arrived. So, uh, how did the exams go? Ah, uh, well, about that. This sure is a headache. What? Why is that? What do you mean, why? The amount of injured and sick warriors is nearly a third of your force. What? Impossible. It is not only possible, Kondo. It is the truth. What have you been doing to these poor men? Cuts, lacerations, bowel pain. This entire place is lousy with... Well, lice for one. Seriously? I'm so embarrassed to hear that. I never would have imagined. First, you need to set aside a room dedicated to medical care. Sick men can be sent there. Second, you need to clean this place up. Otherwise, I won't be able to help you. Understood. I'll get to that this instant. I was going to say, too, I was thinking maybe just once I finish Yamazaki's route, move to a different game, then come back. Because as of right now, I don't know if you agree with me, if you've been watching this whole thing, I'm getting a little, I hate to say it, bored of Hakuoki Boys, and I may just come back to them. I found a game that I, on Steam that I really think is interesting. I think it's called uh, Boyfriend Bandcamp or something like that, which I thought would be interesting. I'm probably just going to end Yamazaki's, and once we do, I'll move to that game, and I'll probably come back to Hakuoki later on. But, anyway, let's go. <laughs> so we were ordered to clean the entire compound. Why the hell do we have to do a massive cleaning? There's nothing I hate more in the world than cleaning and organizing crap. Stop bitching. Hurry up and lift up the cabinet over there. Now's the perfect chance to serve up those meat cakes you were flaunting earlier. Oh, gee, squeaky. Ah, a rat! Calm down. It's not a big deal. It seems as though it's feeding on that rice ball over there. You're right. Who the hell hid their leftovers over here in the corner? Ugh, why do I have to bother myself with such a menial task like a servant? I mean, I'm a strategist more than anything. Cleaning isn't in my job descri description. <laughs> Chill out. Why don't you just whip out your prized Koshu style and do all of the work for us? Shut it! My Koshu military science wasn't designed to help any of you with your housework. What a preposterous idea. You're quite the big meanie, Harada. Those archaic tactics of his wouldn't be enough to fetch a broom, let alone clean this mess. M Miki, you watch your mouth. It may be outdated compared to Western studies, but Koshu military science is far from outdated. Oh, look, Kondo's coming. What? Chief Kondo, please look. This room was so dirty, you couldn't even walk on it. But under my guidance, it's clean as a wh- Huh? Oh, where's the chief? Takeda realized Kondo was nowhere to be seen, and he glared at Harada. <laughs> you fell for it. Damn you, Harada. You tricked me. Wow. Between bitching, kissing ass, and whining like a baby, you're quite the multitasker. Don't you ever get tired of being a two-faced prick, not knowing which face to show people? Hi, everyone. I've washed the rags. Please use this when you wipe the floor. 
Oh, awesome. Thanks. Despite being upset because of chore duty, the men swiftly cleaned the room as a team. Dr. Matsumoto came the next day to inspect the cleanliness of the compounds. Okay, this looks to be in adequate shape. Right? See, everyone, even the doctor realizes that I'm in shape. Compared to the complexity of war tactics, that's not like cleaning is some brilliant task. All you did was complain. Didn't Soji get to rest all day? Sounds like he got special treatment while we busted our asses. Hey, don't blame me. Hijikata's the one being overprotective here. It is your fault. You're the one coughing up a lung. You're not improving because you don't take care of yourself. Seeing the compound in such clean conditions is, I must admit, quite nice. True. The place looks different. I could get used to this. Well, maybe we should clean every day then. Great idea. Make sure you do a good job, Heisuke. Me? Whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. You've got the most energy, Shin. Don't think you're getting out of this. I'll help too, Heisuke. Oh yeah? We'll take it on together. You and me alone. Forget, Shin. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't say I wasn't going to do it. Shinpachi, there's some trash over there. Go throw it away. We aren't starting till tomorrow, right, Heisuke? Stop running around like that. We just cleaned and you're already kicking up dust. I was enjoying the banter when I noticed something. Oh. Bye. I could just see Okita and Dr. Matsumoto outside, walking off somewhere together. Where could they be going? I'm going to say... I think we're going to say I'm worried about Okita, but I want to make sure. Yeah, okay, that's what we're going to say. We're going to worry about Okita. What were, what were Okita and Dr. Matsumoto doing? Was Okita going to talk to the doctor about his cough? He was coughing an awful lot lately, now that I thought about it. Was he all right? I decided to follow them. Huh? Unfortunately, I'd waited too long, and by the time I made my way outside, they were gone. I think they went this way. Oh, Yukimura. Are you looking for someone? Shimada, have you seen Okita and the doctor? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I think I saw them on their way to the courtyard. Thank you. Don't mention it. Just slow down before you hurt yourself, all right? Yes. Goodbye. I saw him walk off, and it got me to thinking. The courtyard. Okay, what are we going to say now? So should I try to catch up, or should I go around the back to reach the courtyard before they did? And we are going to go around. Go around. All right. I ducked onto the narrow path and ran around the back, and I soon found myself at the courtyard. I hid myself in the shadows waiting. Okita and the doctor appeared only moments after I hid silently. How come they appeared after she got there? I don't know. I'll be honest with you, Okita. You have tuberculosis. For just a second, my heart stopped. A shiver ran down my spine, and suddenly I felt very, very cold. I had a feeling that was it. The real thing, huh? The famous disease? Okita has... Gotta tell you, though, I'm not used to getting health advice from doctors, you know? <laughs> I suggest you leave the Shinsengumi and eat nutritional foods to keep up your energy. Sorry, no can do. Look, this is serious. If you don't deal with this, you might be fine now, but eventually you won't even be able to get up from your bed. Then I'll be here until then. I put my sword before my body, even if I cough up blood. Why are you so desperate to stay here? I'm the Shinsengumi's sword. Me being here is my everything. I'm here to kill anyone who stands against the Shinsengumi. Simple as that. I understand. Okita sounded cheery, but I was listening in a state of shock. 
Okita is going to die? I felt like I wanted to faint, but stayed strong and remained standing. Look, Doc, please don't tell Kondo and the guys about this, okay? Promise? Well, uh, I suppose there are certain things that not everyone knows to, needs to know. There's something else I've been keeping secret. I just can't bring myself to tell her. There's a rumor that Kodo is working for a group of extremists. Extremists. I can't know oh, why I can't say that. Some of the imperialists, Ronin. How could I tell her that? <laughs> the news of Akita's illness had me so scattered, I almost cried out at this new piece of intelligence. My father, working with nationalists? There was suddenly someone behind me. A hand slipped over my mouth before I could react, and a freezing sensation made my spine shiver. Stay silent. Mm. Oh, it's Saito. I miss my Saito boy. I was calm. It, no, it was a calm, cool voice that I'd heard many times before, although never from quite so close. Hi, Saito boy. I miss you. Saito? My body relaxed. The body behind me was Saito, not some anonymous assailant. Be still. Soji is very perceptive. I nodded my head as much as I dared. His hand over my mouth made me too nervous to breathe. Saito's presence next to me was silent and sharp, like a blade in the night. It seemed like hours passed before Okita and Matsumoto finally left. Too close. If it weren't for Saito, you'd have gotten in some real trouble. Yamazaki. How long was he? No. Something told me that would be a foolish question. He was probably watching the whole time. Sorry. If you hadn't stopped me, Saito, I probably would have given myself away. No. It is I who should apologize for being so forward with you. I don't want a butterfly from you. I want a butterfly from you. Nonetheless, you followed orders, which is commendable. Oh, no, not at all. There was a, the briefest hint of a smile in his eyes as he spoke, and then it disappeared. Now, Soji, can you truly pretend that you heard nothing specifically, nothing regarding his illness? He wasn't asking me to keep my mouth shut, per se, but rather to forget what I'd seen and heard had ever happened. But why? If word of his illness were to get out, it would be detrimental to the Shinsengumi. Our enemies would be elated, and the chief and commander would be miserable. He was right. Even I could understand that. But I couldn't forget the sight of Okita smiling. Even with the seriousness of this news? He will deal with this illness. This is nothing you need to concern yourself with. Or over. Whatever. Close enough. But... In other words, do not get involved. At the end of the day, I was still only a guest. This sad reminder resurfaced once more. I may live among the Shinsengumi, but I wasn't one of them. Saito's words made that very clear. Suddenly I felt cold, as if a cold gust of wind blew through me, draining all of the heat from my body. I was all alone. From then on, Matsumoto visited the compound regularly to check up on the men at the Shinsengumi. Ever since Sanan had become the leader of the Furies, the group was named as the Fury Corps. Still, I couldn't help but wonder, was it really all right to continue researching the Furies? My heart was heavy with worry. Without him, the Shinsengumi would be nothing. We would cease to exist. If so, why? So probably I will let you go, guys go here after this, September 1865. Um, and like I said, too, I'm probably going to end Hakuoki. Oh, shoot. That is so freaking loud. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably end Hakuoki at Yamazaki's route for now. 
I will probably come back after the other game I plan on playing, which would be, uh, I think it's Boyfriend Band Camp. But I'm excited to play that one, and I hope you guys want to see that too. But anyway, I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!